Happy New Year, YouTube. Um, it is New Year's Day. It's the 1st of January. Um, and I feel good. I feel very excited um, to see what this year holds. Um, today, I want to quickly do a top five luxury items that I bought in 2023. Um, super quick video. Um, but some good stuff, so let's get started. The first thing I bought in 2023 that I have not taken off until now to show you for this video is a Defender cover for my Fendi Mini Peekaboo. It is translucent, it's brown with the Fendi Zuka print on it and a luggage tag. It was brand new when I received it, even though they don't sell these anymore. I bought it secondhand off a of Vestiaire Collective. But it just transforms the look of the bag. So my bag is black. Um, with this on it, it looks brown. Um, and it's just a great neutral, basically. And it's great when it's raining because I feel like it gives it some some water protection, at least on the sides. It's lined in leather at the bottom um, and it's just a great little piece. And it was fairly cheap for the fact that it's covering a whole bag and changing the look of a bag. So that's my first one. Right, so I don't know whether we wanna do Tiffany or Dior next, but I'll start with Tiffany because I'm actually gonna wear this today. So this is my Tiffany bone cuff. Um, the Elsa Peretti one. Oh, didn't mean to pull the whole thing out, but the Elsa Peretti one. And um, I got this in maybe September. Um, and I have worn it a lot. It's fairly patinaed, actually. And scratched and all sorts. But I really like that look. I like the, like, worn-in look of silver jewellery. Um, obviously, make sure it's clean, but... Otherwise, I quite like the, the patina that they can get over the number of years that you can have them. So I'm not fussed about wearing this every day. I'm going to keep wearing it. Um, Tiffany will polish it as well. So yeah, nothing to worry about by wearing it every day besides the scratches. But scratches are fine. Um, you know, no one's looking that closely at your bone cuff and it's still very shiny. So um, this is my Tiffany Elsa Peretti bone cuff which you will see on my wrist for the rest of the video now. Um, next, I have this perfume by Christian Dior. It's the Tobacco Um, I wear this every day. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, or the Speedy 25 video, I can't remember which one came last. Um, I wear my, like, roll-on perfumes from the Middle East. And then I layer on top this. Um, I will say I bought the biggest bottle that I think they did at the time. I think they now do a bigger size. But for the fact that I wear it every day and I spray myself like eight times, probably. One, two, three, four. Yeah, at least eight times, maybe ten. Um, it's only halfway full and I bought it on the 4th of January 2023. So... This has lasted a very long time. Highly recommend these perfumes, um, just for the fact that they last very long. And the throw is amazing. Like, like, like I said in my last video, when I go out, people always compliment me on my perfume, so you can smell it. It doesn't matter whether it's like the start of the day, the end of the day, it's a very strong smell. To the point where my brother will say, when I visit my parents' house, he'll say, oh is Yasmin here because he can smell me before he can see me so um yeah I love that perfume and it's got oud in it I, I'm pretty sure um so I love oud perfumes um but it's like tobacco and quite smoky and it's slush I love it um what's next one second so another thing from Tiffany I actually have four of these and I'm gonna go back and get another four. They come in sets of two. Um, they're not cheap. I'm not even gonna try and pretend like they're affordable. But these are Bone China mugs from Tiffany. You can use them for cold drinks, you can use them for hot drinks. And they're the only glasses, cups, however you wanna phrase it, that I use now. Um, they're great. I love them so much. 
Um, they can't go in the microwave, but they can go in the dishwasher. Um, and yeah, I don't know what else to say about a cup, to be honest, but it's Tiffany blue, it's very cute. If I'm on a meeting, though, on a Zoom meeting, I'll do it this way around so my customers don't see that I'm using Tiffany glasses because someone commented once and I was like, yeah, and they were like, I didn't even know Tiffany did stuff like that, so I, um, I always use it the other way around, but Tiffany glasses, um, or cups, they're great, and they do them in a smaller size, but I love this big size, um, I felt, I find I drink more now, um, with these, so, yeah. Okay, so the last item, absolute dream, like, I could not believe that I got these. They were on my, I guess, not even wish list. They were on my, oh my God, if I could ever have those, I would die on the spot kind of list. But I never thought it would happen because they're so expensive. And they weren't going on sale at the time that I saw them. But then I went to the matches sample sale in London and I got, a sorry about that if the camera's changed. Um, my memory card ran out, so I had to change a new one. But I went to the matches sample sale and I got a pair of Prada shoes. So, these are the most fantabulous shoes I've ever seen from Prada. And they are the crystal Prada slingbacks with the kitten heel. I was tempted to wear these today, but I'm actually gonna wear my Gucci slingbacks just because they match this outfit a bit better. But these I have worn so many times, like even in the middle of the day. Um, they've got a rubber sole, which I love. Um, and it's all the way up to the actual heel. And they're just so comfortable. They are so, like, are they not the dreamiest shoe you've ever seen in your life? I, don't, I just don't understand. And they were, they were half price. These are usually £1,100, which is so much money um, and would be the most I'd ever spend on a pair of shoes if I'd paid full price for them. But they went down to five fifty, and you don't have to tell me twice. I spent so much in matches that day, but no regrets because I've worn these so many times. So that is my top five luxury buys of 2023 super simple i purposely haven't included any handbags because i don't have favorites that's a lie but <laughs> i can't choose favorites out of the bags that i've bought in 2023 also i don't remember quite what i bought this year and what i didn't buy this year and what i used the most this year versus things that i'd already bought or owned when this year started so that's a whole other thing um, but if you want me to do a handbag collection, I'm just waiting for one bag to arrive and then I can do one. Um, so let me know. But that's my top five luxury buys of 2023. Thank you for joining me. Happy New Year and I will see you soon. Please like, comment and subscribe. It helps so much with the algorithm. And yeah, see you next time. Bye guys.